Good afternoon. This is just going to be a really quick video to show you my little Tuesday morning haul. Um, I've noticed that their prices have gone up a little bit, so I don't buy as much stuff when I go in there. I'll pick up a whole bunch and then I'll add it up in my head and I'll be like, mm, I don't really need this, I don't really need that, but I really wanted a planner, so I'm going to show you what I got. I got some precision pens for $3.99, that's not too bad comes with five pens. My daughters really love these pens and they always steal mine so I can give them each one and I've got three for myself. I also picked up a package of thickers. I think this will work for my Disney album because they're an orangey color. They're boo thickers and they are chipboard which is kind of a negative for me because the chipboard ones always either stick to the backing too much or they all fall off and end up in a little pile down at the bottom. But I like this font and it's pretty and since we went to Disney World in October I'll definitely be able to use it for Disney so I went ahead and picked them up for $1.99 you can't beat it. Okay so here's the planner I got and I already took it out of the package so that you wouldn't have to listen to me opening it up but I wanted to show you because it's super pretty. It's Heidi Swap and it was $14.99 which I thought that was a little high so I checked around several places and even at Hobby Lobby with a 40% coupon their planners are $30 so I still would have come out a little bit more expensive than this so I liked this one so I went for it. Um, I like the black and white stripe it reminds me of Kate Spade I'm sure that was probably the intent but anyways I love it. Okay the inside is just as pretty as the outside if not prettier. See this creamy white color with the gold polka dot? I love that. And then there's a floral pattern with a gold foiling in it. That's January. There's photos of the month. It's one of her memory planners, so you can put little photos and lists and things like that in it. I think it might fit my Carpe Diem inserts, and I have a few extras left over from last year, so if it does fit, I'll put some of them in here. There's a place to take some notes. Um, week at a glance type pages which I really like. And then a divider. And February is the same way. A little spot for pictures. I love this. There's March. You can take notes about your month at the end. Okay, and on to April. That one's pretty, black with floral. All right, I like the month at a glance here, and I didn't see it in the first couple months. Maybe they stuck together. Okay, the month at the glance at a glance, I really like to have, so I'm glad it does have that in there. Um, there's a place to take notes of like the big events and write down your goals for the month. Then the week at a glance, where you can like plan out your menus or your workout plan, or if you have more detailed lists you need to do. There's May. That's my birthday month. Polka dots. Pretty. I like this planner quite a lot. June. July says live it up. August. I love that divider page. That's really pretty. September. Absolutely, completely unforgettable. Right there. I can't believe this September my daughter's going to be starting college. Cannot believe it. Anyway, October. There's a creamy white colored divider with gold polka dots. Kind of look like they're sprinkling down. Photos of the month. A little sleeve. There's November. And December polka dots. Okay. And at the very back, there's a page for contacts and information about people which I really needed. I have my Christmas card list um, with addresses and stuff from people from about eight years ago. I kind of need to update that so I'm going to update it and put it right in there. I like the little pen holder. Anyway, that's a quick look at what I got at Tuesday mornings today. Like I said, the planner was $14.99. The thickers were $1.99 and the precision pens were $3.99. So not too bad. I had about $40 worth of stuff in my hands and I did put 
quite a bit of it back, but this is what I ended up with. All right, thanks for visiting with me today. Hope you enjoyed the look at my new goodies, and I hope you'll visit my blog at scrapandmargie.blogspot.com.